All right, good morning. Welcome. Today we are going to be discussing the real estate law of agency for both the listing agent and the selling agent for both sides, all right? So, a little bit of introduction. Your job as the license holder is to represent the interest of your client, all right? So, in other words, you are to practice agency. That is what we are going to discuss today. The law of agency, which is actually born out of common law and can change. So therefore we need to keep abreast of it because you need to understand your legal requirements for representing both the seller, the buyer, potentially both of them there are some states where being a dual agent is not allowed so you have to understand if you're in that state you obviously would understand that i believe florida does not allow dual agency um kansas doesn't there are five or six states that do not so you need to understand that uh, we're going to talk a little bit about agency concepts. We're going to talk about your requirements for disclosure, both to the client and to the customer. We're going to talk about your third party duties that you have and that you need to maintain. Then we're specifically going to break it down and specifically talk about being a listing agent and your requirements and a selling agent and your requirements. Then we're gonna have a whole section about becoming that dual agency that we've talked about. We're gonna talk about how you create the agency and what also terminates the agency, all right? We're gonna talk about some uh, employment issues for the managing brokers in here. Then we're gonna to touch quickly on deceptive practices and the consumer protection in this arena of agency. All right. If you notice up on the screen, um, I've done something a little different this time. I have had several people over the course of the years tell me they did not like my backdrops, that they were too colorful. Yes. <laughs> Damn it, you're too good. They're too colorful and therefore detracted from being able to see the text. So I think what they meant was that the text did not stand out in contrast with the background. I would certainly hope they weren't accusing me of being too artful because that would be hurtful. So anyway, we're gonna do one today in just plain black and white. And there is some symbolism is here. I hope you guys all understand that agency is just that, black and white. 